Rich Morris here from The Singing Drummer. Um, so many projects. So many projects. Uh, I think you may have seen that we did get the piano down in the basement, which is right there. And I finally put together this room again, so now I kind of have my studio space back. And what I need to do is I need to get this pathetic desk cleaned off so that I can get my new Yamaha HS5 speakers that I just bought uh, so that I could do some decent monitoring here. However, another thing that happened, well, you know, we got the Omen down here. And uh, one thing that I did was I went ahead and got a new motherboard for the little computer that uh, cooked itself and it is back up and running so I'll probably turn that into a art computer for the wife maybe I don't know um, but yeah like miscellaneous projects and stuff all over the desk needs to get cleaned off so I can make room for the HS fives also have some other things that I want to do some videos on like our uh, the bands in your monitor system, which lives right in here, a 18 channel mixer, splitter, in out through panel, my wireless microphone, four channel in ear transmitter, so lots of stuff. So let me get that desk cleaned off and we'll see what we can do. Well, as you can kind of see, I mean, I got the desk cleared off. I wouldn't say cleaned because, well, all I did was move it over here. I'll deal with that a little bit later. But right now, I want to go get those HS5s and unbox them because the packages were damaged a bit in shipping. Um, they look pretty banged up. So I want to make sure that I document the outside of the packages. So I'm going to move some cameras around. So give me just a minute. Okay, so I got to get hurrying up because I got to go down and, and pick up the wife here pretty soon. So I know I'm whispering. So let me get them. Here's the box. HS5 Yamaha speakers um, from uh, our good buddy Alvin DB at their dead Divi DB at uh, Sweetwater. Um, so I guess the package is not quite as banged up as I thought it was. I mean, you can see on the corners they're all like folded over. Um, I guess this one's pretty bad. But I guess. It's not too bad. Tape's busted out right there. Um, so, since the tape's busted down over there, uh, let's go ahead and open it up from the bottom. Yeah, see that? Uh, let's go ahead and open it up from the bottom, shall we? Uh -huh. These boxes look to be okay. As we can see them up there, um, they look to be okay. Uh, I mean, the corners are dented up a little bit. They pull it out of here. Get this big... Oh, my goodness. They're heavy. For five-inch speakers. So, let me... Uh, there's speaker one. There's speaker... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the corners are rounded over a little bit. So, as you can see, the... Uh, oh, where's my candy? <laughs> there's my candy. Um, so, as you can see, in the box... There's padding on the bottom. Well, I guess it's the top, really. Uh, but there's no padding on the top. Bottom. Anyway, there's padding on one side and not on the other side. They were not fully encased. And they were only uh, one box inside of a box. So let's get rid of this. And let's show you now the boxes. So, this one's got a puncture. I don't know if you can see that on there. It's got a puncture and a bent corner. Now I'm sure that these are completely encased in styrofoam, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. But I'm just kind of showing. There we go again. Again, I'm sure that when we open these things up, they're going to be completely encased in styrofoam. Not my favorite thing in the world. Um, so. Let's get these out of here. Let's uh, let's pull this one down for a second. Yeah. 
as a thought, styrofoam. Yay, honey, more styrofoam to get rid of. You know, wish people would figure out how to package without styrofoam. So here is, oh yeah, now that's a, that's a nice hefty power cord. That's some heavy gauge. I, uh, I think I need to check out the, the actual power specs just to make sure that I've got the, uh, a good, I mean, I've got a, I've got a power Atlas ACRL 291, whatever that is, 20 amp, um, that I run pretty much everything off of. Let's see if I can get this out of here without damaging the world and scraping the roof. Okay. And it, it's a good size, a good heavy duty box. Got some destructions with, wow, that is heavy. More than just plug it in, see more. And now, oh, this is the uh, function side, so careful where I put my fingers, because that is, that you can see that's like the open dome there. I could just see myself putting, I'm just smart enough to put my fingers through brand new speakers. Okay, so I mean, yeah, those the styrofoam was plenty enough. The knob is intact. The knob is intact. It feels feels fine. We'll find out when we plug it in. But yeah, um, this this enclosure is beefy. <laughs> it, is, it is heavy, but of course there's a uh, I believe it's biamped. Um, it's got room control, so you can cut it by two or four dB. It's got a high trim, so you can uh, plus two or minus two uh, on the high end. Uh, of two kilohertz and above, and the room control cuts from 500 below. So, yeah. So there's one. So let's get the other one out. I can put that over here. Let's get the other one out, and then I'll see if I can fit them underneath the monitors, which was the original plan over on the mixing desk. We will have to see how we do on time. Ooh, yeah, we got we got some time. Now I I did not buy cables. Um, I bought these online, like I said, from uh, from Sweetwater. I did not buy cables at the time uh, because I wanted to make sure that my cables were going to be long enough and then not too long. Um, I'm going to need to get a tip ring sleeve. Uh, either on both ends or a tip ring sleeve and a uh, cannon jack on the other end, depending on how I want to plug them into the uh, into these speakers. The back of my uh, UMC eighteen twenty uh, interface has got uh, balanced quarter inch outs, so I will probably go balance balance. I I kind of like the whole uh, Canon, not Canon, uh, XLR uh, connection on that. Okay, so I've got that off. Again, Richie, no fingers through the speakers. Alright, so this will probably be all fast forwarded because you guys have already seen this. I had uh, emailed Alden, told him how damaged the, the box was, and I was a little concerned, but after seeing how Yamaha packed them, Yamaha, you did a good job. Sweetwater, maybe not so bueno, 
Um, but yeah, level knob is still in good shape. Um, there's no really other other controls back here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a level knob. There's of course your inputs, and there is your what is that? That's your room control, so that's your 500 hertz and lower cut, and then your high trim. They said, but it's plus or minus 2 dB, um, 2K and above. So let's see if this will fit under my monitors on my desk. Okay, so like, you know, not prime, it's gonna take some work, but I can see, I can see the tweeters. Um, I put the second pad underneath to angle it up even more, um, but I can't really raise the video monitors up anymore because, well, you see then it gets in front of the big screen, which is the big monitor or the karaoke television, if you are my wife. Um, anyway, so let me see if I can raise the monitors up a little bit and make a little bit more room. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not perfect, right? I never said it was going to be perfect, but that's that's a pretty good little setup. Now, I've got to measure my my actual listening distance so that the distance from that tweeter to that tweeter to basically the center of my head is the same distance. It's like an equilateral equilateral triangle which I can tell these already need to be moved out a little bit but uh but yeah no I think I think that'll work um yeah I think that'll work I have to rearrange my monitors because well I just about dropped the whole thing on the brand new speakers yay good job we gotta make this quick it's been days since I came down here and set this up, uh, maybe even more than a week. We've been uh, doing some projects in the house. I've been doing some projects down here. And I've been working with these speakers for a while. Yamaha HS5s. I was told I probably need 8s for this room because it's so big. But uh, I don't have room for it on the desk. Not proper placement. Uh, still working on better placement. Still working on some sound attenuation in the room. Uh, sound treatment, but I tell you what, uh, these speakers have, uh, when they, when they talk about a speaker being clear, I don't think I understood what they meant. These things, without being loud in volume, the bass is tight, but not boosted. The mids are prominent, but because I think that they're just that clear. Uh, the highs are crisp. Like these things are, are flat and natural and will show you what is wrong with a mix. I tell you, um, they won't show you how to fix it, but they will show you where you're going wrong. And uh, it's been quite eye-opening. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to working with them, but yeah. Yeah, I really, I really uh, am, am thinking I'm going to be liking these speakers. So, anyway, Yamaha HS5s. If you need reference monitors, uh, mixing uh, monitors, I would highly, highly suggest them. They are small enough to fit on my little desk, but have a big, natural, flat sound. So I would suggest getting them. And I'll have links, of course, in the description, along with the cables that I needed to get to hook them up. And by the way, thank you for buying off of the links uh, on my channel because that uh, whoever purchased something allowed me to buy the cables. Uh, you guys bought me cables. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the like button if you like it. And heck, I don't care. Hit the don't like if you don't like it. Be honest. I don't 
I, I am here to learn. Um, and so if you have some suggestions, please put them in the comments below and I will try to get to them. Um, and hit the bell notification. It's not like I uh, flood you guys with uh, videos all the time because I just can't do that. So anyway, uh, Rich Morris from The Singing Drummer. Uh, we'll get back to doing a lot more stuff here. Um, uh, as winter is winding down, we're not doing stuff outside. Uh, and I'm excited. I'm excited to get using these speakers. So Yamaha HS5s, go get you some.